So you want to replace animation sets for the gameplay sample project. Not a problem. When you're replacing an animation set in GASP, here are the animations you probably need to replace if you want it to look natural. The idle, run loops, run pivots, run starts, run stops, turns, walk loops, walk pivots, walk starts, and walk stops. Okay, now before we can start, you have to go through each animation, right click, add modifiers, and add all the things that start with A, M. Then inside of each animation, you will see you have new curves that appear from the modifiers that the motion matching will need to use. Now on the left, make sure you enable root motion and force root lock. And make sure that normalized root motion is checked. And finally, make sure that all of your IK bones are following the hands and feet correctly. If you see that they are not, here is how you can fix them. Under Window, Animation Data Modifiers, Add Modifiers, Copy Bones, and add five new array elements and set them like this. Weapon R, IK Handgun, Hand R, IK Hand R, Hand L, IK Hand L, Foot L, IK Foot L, Foot R, and IK Foot R. Bone Space should be set to World and hit Apply. And if it doesn't work completely, apply it again. And no, I'm not joking. Just keep doing it until all the IK bones are fixed. If you're not sure about yourself, I have a code that you can just paste in the pinned comment that will set all this up for you. You just paste it in like this and then apply all the modifiers, you're good. All right, once you've gone through and made sure that all of your animations have root motion, force root lock, modifier curves, and the correct IK bones, now we'll want to go into the UEFN's motion matching database, dents, and copy each of the databases that are closest to what you're trying to replace. So for example, I have an idle. We also have run loops and run pivots and run starts. So we want to copy those as well. Once you've copied their databases, you're going to go into each one and delete their animations and just start replacing them with your own movements instead. Do that for each database. And now we'll go into the motion matching data and open the pose search database. And all we want to do here is go in each of these and replace these databases with the new ones that we just created. So we'll start with idle and then we'll replace the idle, walk stops, and walk runs. Go back, then go into stand walks and replace the walk starts, walk loops, and walk pivots. And then we'll go into stand runs and replace the run starts, run loops, and run pivots. Compile and save, and you're done. Now you can see your movement sets have been replaced. Hope that helps, and as always, I hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you around. Oh, <laughs>